Mr. Stream. I am <laughs> Danis Cole. This is Danis Stories and uh, everything that can go wrong is going wrong tonight. So wrong. My computer is over at Best Buy. Let me show you. I am on the old old MSI. This is a six-year-old computer, folks. This is what I'm having to do my live stream on tonight. It's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. Awful computer. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't like that. Okay. All right. Now I'm right side up. <laughs> Sagging mount for my camera. <sighs> and I don't even know if my files are going to work. So, I have updated Dev Studio. Let me see if it's going to work. <laughs> uh, to begin, locate your application. Oh, I am so stressed out. This is just... Oh, my whole routine is shattered. I was in the middle of writing. <sighs> Last night I was updating drivers. Oh, is it having CMS problems? Maybe I need to log again. Oh. Oh, please don't do this to me. So, I can't log in. This is not making me a happy camper. All right. Locate your application. Okay. Let me locate it. Where did it put it? <sighs> I don't want it on the C drive, and it probably put it on the C drive. I am not happy. Oh, grr, this is terrible. Okay, and every all my drive ass assignments are messed up because this computer has two hard drives in it. So, Google Drive, what? What in the world? All right, I'm not even seeing a C drive. This, there it is. All right, let's find Daz somewhere, somewhere, la, 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 la. Where are you, Daz? Daz, I don't see you. Daz, hello? Daz is not on here. Why? Okay, well... All right, says installation complete, but I don't trust it. I don't like Daz Central. Holy cow. Okay, so first off, I need to be, I am logged in, and it's the right account. I need to look at my settings. Base path location. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, base path. It needs to be the D drive. D D D D D D D D D D D D D. Okay, so in program files, and there it is, <laughs> right where it's supposed to be. Okay, that's 3D. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. I don't know if it is there, but it's supposed to be there. Ah, select folder. All right. I want it. Okay, for the program, I want it in program files. All right. Des 3D. Oh. Hmm. I am in Daz Central. 
Okay, and you can see what I'm doing in DAS Central. I am trying to get DAS Studio installed. So, let's install it. All right, so path is not currently available. Why? Why? All right. I'm trying to go away, honestly. All right, why doesn't it light my path? because it's not specific enough. Why can't it type that in with, for me? I'm so stressed out. Ever since that minor heart attack in April, everything stresses me out. Passwords stress me out, and they always did, but especially now. I'm just absolutely just gone. All right. That's the C drive. Why is it on the C drive? I put you on the D drive. Grr on you. Grr. Grr on you. All right. Das 3D. All right. Okay. That should be the right drive. Let's see if it will accept it now. Package archive? All right. Uh, hello, can I get to the menu again? Thank you. All right, so I need to, there's the base path. Oh, Bryce install location. Carrera install location. Uh, Carrera's good, Bryce is not. Bryce needs to be changed to the D drive to x86 or program files. Okay, program files das 3D. So let's go to program files das 3D. And basically I'm just going down the line and specifying all of these has okay that's program files des 3d okay that's correct des 64 applications uh, i guess that's okay all right the studio install location. All right. Hexagon install. Okay. Photoshop install location, and that is not going to work. So I'm just going to trash that one. Poser Pro. Okay, and I have both of those installed on this machine. Unreal Engine needs to be Unreal Engine. Where is it? It's not there. Am I on the right drive? No. Okay, let's look at program files. Unreal Engine should be here. It's not. Why is it not? Is it under Epic Games? Unreal Engine. Okay. I probably need to update that too. But that's okay. That's okay. I really like the Install Manager better than Des Central, but since I am only installing the DAS program, I will put up with DAS Central. I really like being able to view my assets, but it is hard to install 3,500 assets one by one, which DAS Central forces you to do. 
there is no option to just install everything. So Install Manager is better if you have a large number of assets that you are installing, which I am going to have to do on this machine because I've gotten a lot more items. Okay, view is good. So I have view 2016. They started having subscriptions and I said, uh-uh, I ain't doing it. So I still have view 2016, which still looks really good. Okay, especially on my new machine, which I miss. I miss it. Oh, okay. So I think I've got all my, I need my, um, and I've got my, now my base path location needs not to be that. Let's see. So what was I doing on this machine? What am I doing? I don't know what I was doing on this machine, but on the D drive, let's see where my DAS files are. I think my path is here. I think it's just, is it DAS? My DAS 3D library. Okay, it's in my DAS 3D library. So I didn't do anything weird with my paths. So I just need to change my base path. Or my, let's see. Yeah, Dev Studio install is different than the base path. The base path is where it's going to put all of the lovely asset files. And I want that path to be D, 3D, Dev, is it Dev or Dev 3D? Dev, my Dev 3D library. Okay. So, I think this will work. Now I'm going to get my DAS installed. So, let's install it. And it's working. It's working. It's, um, actually, last October was the last time that I brought it up. Because I was using it while my... Um, my newer old machine died. My uh, Microsoft Surface never get a Microsoft Surface. Never, never even look at them. It's a neat machine, but when it goes bad, it's bad. It can catch on fire on your lap. I had big time overheating problems with that turkey. I will never buy a Microsoft Surface again, ever. It quit, and, well, it didn't quit, but it was overheating so bad, and it was getting screen staining, orange staining. Uh, yeah, it, it's bad, and you can't replace the battery in the darn thing. So, yeah, give me a PC any day of the week. Not a surface, not a tablet. So it went kerblunk last October. And my generous sister, bless her heart, gave me money for a new computer. So I looked far and wide, and last October was back during the shortage of chips. Everybody was buying electronics, they were buying up every chip available uh, in machines, of course. And you could not find the best machines. I wanted an i9 because I do a lot of renders. I need that horsepower. So, you know, if you're just gaming, an i7 is fine. But if you are doing renders, if you are doing 3D work, which I do on Dev Studio, I need an i9. So I had to go to HP and buy it directly because 
Best Buy didn't have it. Micro Center, my standby, did not have it. I usually buy my computers from Micro Center because they're great and they're cheap and they have the best stuff. But Micro Center didn't have it. Best Buy is my second choice. It didn't have it. It had an i7. I'm like, no. <laughs> so I went to HP directly and they were able to do it. However, it took a month. So I had to do without a nice machine for a month. And uh, I guess I used the Surface up because, you know, it was touted as a workstation. A lot of graphic artists were using them. So we all thought, ooh, this is great. It's got a small footprint. You can hold it in your lap. You can work anywhere. It was a wonderful machine, but they don't last. That is the problem. And the overheating problem is a bad problem. I did go to a Microsoft store back when they had them. They closed them all during the pandemic. But I was able to get a replacement, but it was refurbished. It didn't last long. I think it lasted six months. We'll see, June, July, August, September, October. It lasted four months before it, too, started overheating. And this was the modified one with the extra vents. So... I am totally down on Microsoft Surface. They, um, you know, it's a sweet machine as long as it lasts, but it's not going to last you three years. It, you know, mine lasted, I think, a, a year and a half. It was just out of warranty. Just out of warranty. So, anyway, I am reinstalling Dad Studio. And uh, in case you're just joining me, I am working on the old, old, six-year-old MSI workstation that I got in, what, 2014? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's old. Well, if it's 2014, it's even older than I thought. Uh, I think it was 2014, so that is eight years old. <laughs> that is what I am coming to you on. Let's see who's with me. Zero X2, hi. Alien Conglomeration, welcome back. Alien Gathering, welcome back. And Santa Claus Gift, you're new to me. Hi, welcome to the live stream. And Xylane, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello. Welcome to the live stream. And I am griping because my computer is in the shop and I'm having to reinstall everything onto the old MSI. Eight years old. I'm surprised it still works. <laughs> and yes, it does run Windows 10. I'm amazed. So let's see what we're doing here. I am on Daz Central. And let's open it. Okay. And I won't need to install anything, hopefully. Let's find out. I'm going to close Des Central now and let's go to Des Studio and see if we can make some models. Luckily, I keep all of my files on removable hard drives. So in case of a problem like this, I can get to my files. Let's see if I can log in now. <laughs> Oh, post C gray SQL, you are terrible. Oh, how do I fix this? Oh, my. Okay, let's try connecting to my account. 
Okay. I'll sign in. Uh, okay, I'm on my account right now. I can get into my account. So why can't I get into Dev Studio? Log in. <laughs> I've had this problem before. How did I solve it? I don't remember what I did to solve it. Oh. Botheration. I can work offline. But it is much easier to log in if I could just get it to do it. Connect my account. Well, I can get into my account. So why can't Daz log in? I don't understand it. It takes me to the website. I log in there just fine, but I can't get it to log in here. Let me restart the program. All right. I will restart the program and see if it works. Okay. Let me put Dev Studio on my bar. Where I are, I'm going to put it on my bar. Oh, pin it to the taskbar. Yeah. Okay. Here goes Dev Studio. Hopefully restarting it will do the trick. Sometimes it will work. So we shall see. Oh, ah, it's okay. Connect. Server did not accept. Oh, okay. It might be that I need to put my password in again because that might be the problem. All right. Let me switch y'all off of Daz. And I'm going to put you on Daz 3D while I do this. And I'm going to shop. I'll show you the freebies. So you can drool over the freebies while I do this. Let's see what freebies there are. And uh, fairy tale unicorn baby. Oh, okay. I'll take her. Cool. It's a cartoon, but that's all right. And another V4. She looks interesting. Okay. Toxic Nordic. Okay. De Winter textures. I don't have De Winter though. Let's see if I do. Yeah, I don't have the winter. Uh, the texture will not work without the thing. So, all right, more for the IDL Studio Co background. I don't think I have that. I have to have IDL Studio. Maybe they'll offer it free someday. You never know. Let's see what this is. Deep Visions. It has a required project product too. What is that? The Girl 4 base? Hmm. Well, that's alright. Sedite. Okay. So I have some things. I'm gonna leave those in the cart. And I'll let y'all look at that while I solve my login problem. Okay, let's see here. Actually, I can't do that. Hmm. 
what can I switch all to? Let's see. Let's see if I've got any recent renders. They should still be on my hard drive. Oh, Maggie, did you go into BitLocker? Microsoft account, yeah? Yeah. Um, not yet. Uh, you have 15 minutes before they close. Uh, Please. They can't work on my computer without that code. Oh, so. We're tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me, my F drive is unavailable, why, my F drive is unavailable, and why is this called Google Drive, I don't know what that is, <sighs> oh, that's probably a virtual drive, that's what that is, it's a virtual drive. Okay, so I'm not seeing my removable drives. This is bad. So what do I have on here anyway? Let's see. Do I have any renders? I wonder. Well, this is sad. I won't be able to work on the stuff that I had. I can do new stuff. But this is not going to make me happy. Not a happy occurrence. Let's see. Well, so where's my render directory on this thing? I don't even know. I don't even know where my render directory is. I should have one. Hmm. Well, I could look on my Dennis Stories drive and see if I have anything. It's empty. My stories are there. My story work in progress has got all my stories. They're old, though. I don't have the updated versions. Hmm. Well, I've got pictures. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I don't know where I was putting my renders on this drive. This is bad. It's very bad. Nope. Nothing. Oh, great. I don't have anything useful on this hard drive. <laughs> this is sad. My live stream is totally messed up tonight. Oh. Okay, well. Hmm. Want to see pictures from the 60s? <laughs> My baby album. Let's see. You can look at my kindergarten picture while I fix the uh, login on my dad's. Okay. There we go. And I will change it to that. I'm going to do in my video. And to do that, I've got to use my browser. Oh, my, my, my. Let's see. All right, where is it? I 
think that should be it. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's put that in. Connect. Please connect me. Oh, success! Alright. Now, I can get off of that stupid picture and get back to that studio. All right. So, let's go back to Dad's studio and make a character, shall we? And, unfortunately, I don't have any of my stuff at all. So, we are going to make something and... Then I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get it onto my hard drive. So, but I'll go ahead and load up a Genesis 8 basic mail. Well, I can't make Giant because I can't get to my files because my hard drive is not connected. This is sad. My working hard drive is not connected. <sighs> so, I'll just make a character. I'll make it up as I go. Now, why is this not working? Oh, it's updating metadata for 2,400 items. I have a 1,000 more items now. <laughs> Okay, it's updating metadata. This shouldn't take too long, but on this machine, it's going to take longer because this thing is so old. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put some clothes on him. Goodness. I guess I might do his body shape and all first. So let's go to parameters. And, yeah, my hard drives are not working. I don't know why, but they are not. Mm. <sighs> I don't know, at least I'll have a computer back soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the daughter is too tired to help me, so, yeah. We are just, uh, I'm going to make him look like David. In the David figure. And let's we'll see what faces I can give him. Um, let's look at real world shapes. Let's see. Let's make him a bodybuilder sort of guy. Okay, we'll give him some body tone. But he's going to be big. We're going to make it big. All right. Okay, we're going to make it tall. And we're going to make him a little on the wide side. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've made him my own. Let's see about... Okay. <sighs> I can barely see this is not the resolution that I'm used to. Okay. So, yeah. there we go. Let's look at face jam. Do I have face jam? should have face gen on here. Why don't I have it? Well, hmm. 
So I don't have face gen. This is bad. Uh, why don't I have face gen? I should have a face gen directory. I am not seeing it. I can't read these titles. This is not helping. Oh, here's Space Gen. No, that's Spaces of Europe. <laughs> okay, well. Well, I have some people. Let's just... Let's give him a... David kind of gym looking face. Maybe a little more. Alright. And let's get some HD details for Michael 8. Are we gonna get that? There we go. Alright. Now. Okay, let's put some clothes on him and some hair. Let's see. Look in here and see what I got. Let's go to smart content. Utilities is it? Oh, come on. I've got you selected. Why am I not getting my smart content? Where are my files? It's looking all files. I should have wardrobe. That's all I've got? Well, let's figure this out. All right. Where's my library? Because it's supposed to be here. It is supposed to be. <sighs> this is making me crazy. Alright, so like where are my files? They should be there, but I am not seeing them. Hmm. This is bad. Well, Genesis 8 mail. So get clothing. Basic wear. Well, we can put a t shirt on him. And shorts. Okay. Now, yeah. let's make that a different color. We should have materials. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, I ray. Let's see. Well, we can put the base map on him. And... <sighs> okay. But what I want is materials for the t-shirt and the boxers. So let's see. We've got anything. Good grief. All right, let's look at materials. Hello. Surely there are materials for this. Ah, IRA materials. Oh, good. Okay. Well, all right, t shirt. We can get navy. 
And for the boxers, let's go with that neat plaid. Cool. Now let's fix this. Okay, this has adjustment. So I should be able to, um, if I parent the boxers to the shirt. That improved it a good bit. Quit buzzing at me, watch. Telling me that I should drink some water. I will in a minute. Okay, let's widen the waist. All right, that fixed most of it. It's still not quite. Let's widen the thighs a little bit. That's not going to help. Okay, that didn't help at all. Let's. Uh, oh, that helps a little bit. All right. Let's fix the poke through. Okay, tools, mesh grabber, come to me. Where is mesh grabber? Oh, don't tell me I don't have it. I don't have mesh grabber. This is bad. Let's look at in the install category and see if I can get it. Can I get it? I need it. I need Mesh Grabber. All right, where's Mesh Grabber? I'm hoping this won't take long. Oh, the gingerbread set. <laughs> That's not going to help me here. <laughs> not going to help me here. Oh, let's see. Goodness gracious. All right. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I'm debating whether to change that path. If I knew where I was keeping those on this machine. Let's see. Let me look at my um hmm. I'm wondering where my paths are cuz everything's messed up it is it is totally messed up let me figure out where I've got it. All right, it is under 3D Daz, my Daz library. And that should be where everything is. But I am not so sure. There's my Unreal Engine. Okay. Well, actually, that's where I've got the installer for it. And uh, I wonder if they've got Unreal 5. If they've got Unreal 5 available, I should get it. Ah, I want to learn Unreal Engine. There's some cool things you can do to run a live stream from within it. 
and I really want to experiment with that. But first things first, that should be where my path is, but I'm not so sure. Hmm. Well, I could just do a new path. I could do 3D, my dad's 3D library. Which I might do. I wonder if I can get a hold of the installer for I am. Let me search on here. Install manager. Because that's really what I need if I'm going to install stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's just look on Daz for install manager. It's hard to find it. And I am not finding it. All right, I know it is in my desk library. So I'll go into my account and go into my product library and look for install manager. Yes, Win64, there it is. All right, let's download it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to install it real quick. This won't take but a minute. Even on this slower machine, it shouldn't take very long to install. So I'm twiddling my fingers. All right, yes, next. I accept the agreement. I do. I accept it. Yes, put it on the C drive. Well, maybe I'll put it on the D drive. I like to put things on the D drive because the C is smaller. So I saved that for operating system. Okay, that's the reason I want my product library, which is humongous, on the D drive, not the C. Okay, it is there. And launch it. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Okay, and it's there. And let's see if it'll log me in. Oh, it did. It did. Okay. All right. Let's um, see what the path is. Because I want to change it. Default install. Okay. Default install sets. And I want... To make sure they go in the right places. Okay. It's telling me they are installed. Okay. So those are installed. Where are they installed? Where is my path? Where are my paths? Basic settings. Okay, my base directories, package archive is 3D DAS, my 3D library. Okay, so it's supposed to be there. All right. 
so where else would it be? So where the default is. Oh heavens, I don't want it to go there. I want it to go the D drive. It's not letting me change the default ones. Why isn't it? Okay. Hmm. All right. Content base path. I want to change that. So I'm going to put it on the D drive on 3D and create a new one my DAS 3D library okay that's going to be my default now all right, except, okay, that's the only thing I want to change. And I don't want to download a whole bunch of stuff. I just want my um, mesh grabber. So let me find it. Mesh Grabber, where are you? And I need it sorted by product name. I want name A to Z so I can find this thing. Thank you. Now I can look. Oh, I should show you what I'm doing. I'm in the install manager. So let me bring it up. All right, now you can see what I'm doing. I have just changed my install path only for my products. Now I'm going to look for my mesh grabber. So I'm just going to pull that down to the M's and get mesh grabber it shouldn't take that long just to install this so i'm just going to install the things that i need okay mesh grabber there it is all right install it yes and it will install after download so I'll just get that, and it should be there now. So let's see if it's in Smart Content. Oh, actually it shows up in the Tools menu. If I can see it. I may have to restart Des to see it. Hmm. Let me save this guy. And I'm going to save him. Under. I'm going to make a people directory. Now this is the way I do my DAS files. If I create a person. I don't put them in my my dad's 3D library. I put them in another directory, which is my backup files for my personal people. So 
I do the same thing as the regular DAS directory structure. So under people, I'm going to make Genesis 8 mail. And I'm going to go in there and make characters. So this is how I keep my stuff separate so that I know that, and of course, uh, this is not our bot. This is G8M. Uh, let's give him a name. What does he look like? Uh, let's make him Charlie. Okay. Here's Charlie. Now I've got him saved. So here's Charlie, and he needs Mesh Grabber bad. <laughs> so let's see. Let's look under the Genesis and make sure I've got all my Genesis stuff installed. So first thing I'll do is... um. Get all my Genesis 8 mail stuff. So I'm just going to install all of this. And all right, we'll see how long that takes to install. All right, start it. We'll get all the Genesis 8 mail stuff. I made a huge mistake. I gave her a squeezy and she's ravenous. <laughs> oh, so now she's going to bug you to death. <laughs> for another one, even though I'm only giving, I'm only giving her one every once in a while. But yeah. whenever I do give her one, she's going to be um that's a special treat we only give our cat every once in a while because otherwise she gets fat yes it's kind there of fattening we had those fattening. for our sick baby back in january whom we lost and it's been hard without her but corinne has been this? wonderful yeah i hear her I wonder if y'all can hear her. She is really kicking up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> She's like, give me more! Give me more! Right, let's see if um, restarting Daz will bring that. So I'm just gonna... I've saved my one file. Of those is a whole meal, so... Oh, a whole some... meal? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're meant to be um, uh, stand-ins for a meal in case oh. your cat's not feeling good or something. Oh. So I just gave her a whole meal in liquid <laughs> form, so she doesn't need anything for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> she might want more, but she can get it. Well, you need to give her something that takes up empty space, like a leaf of spinach or something. She loves spinach. Yeah. She is an unusual cat. She will, she will really, she acts like greens are meat. <laughs> Why are you searching so. all over my desk for something? <laughs> She's going to be searching everywhere. Okay, let's see. Is it coming up? Thought I started it again. Now here we go. All right. Now let me make sure that. Oh, 
I've got you on the wrong thing. Let's go back to Dash Studio. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right, I have restarted it. So let's see. I'm going to open this file. And see if I can now get Mesh Grabber. If I can't, you can install products from the Install tab. So we'll see. It's going to take a minute. While I'm waiting, I'm going to cover up my legs because my legs are cold. When you get to be 63, it's nice to cover your legs because they really get cold. Oh, I better fix those pants. Oh, those pants. Oh, my goodness. They're not fitting. Okay. So why? Uh, oh, because I parented it to the t-shirt. Let's go to actor, adjustments, and widen the thighs. Oh, I can't widen them enough. That's bad. Huh. Okay. So the adjustments are not enough. Let's go to... Oh, I don't want sharp edges. I want soft corners. And... Yeah, I want smooth. Okay, cat mark is all right. I want smoothing. Okay, so collision iterations. I'm going to increase that. And collision, I'm going to increase. Oh, I fixed it. But it didn't fix it down here, so <sighs> I better parent it to him because it is not working parented to the t-shirt. So I'm going to fit it to Genesis Mail. All right. Now that fixed the legs, but it did not fix that area. So let's smooth it some more. Okay. And okay. That's 15 iterations. I'm afraid to go too much more because it just won't do right. So, yeah, it's just getting worse. So, I really need the mesh grabber. Let's see if I can get it. I can! Okay, now let's fix this. So, I'm going to push that in. See if that works. Actually, I'm going to pull this out. And I probably ought to zoom in. And I probably ought to look at it from the side. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, this needs to go in. So I will grab that and push it in, way in. All right, much better. Okay, now I'm going to pull this part out just a tad. And that part, you can grab it there too. Just pull that out. 
and maybe there too. All right, let's we'll see how we did. Uh, not quite. Let's pull this line out a little bit. Okay. And pull the tummy out a little bit. I'm just going to pull this whole line out just a tad bit. All right, let's see how that's looking. Nope, it still needs this part pulled out. All right, and we're going to pull this belt out. And pull this part of the belt out. And this part. Hmm. That didn't do right. Let's push that in. Huh. And belt out. I'm not pulling the belt. I need to push. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull this out. Grab that. Push it in. Grab that. Push it in. That, push that in. Okay. Let's see. Oh, heavens, it's just messy all the way around. Okay. Hard to know what you're grabbing. <laughs> okay. Got to grab the shirt and not the shorts. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab that and push that in or pull it out because that's okay. I'm going to push that in. I guess I'm pulling out the shorts. Okay. All right. Let's pull out the shorts. Pull out the shorts. Pull, pull, pull out the shorts. And now I'm going to push in the shirt. I think that did it. Push in the shirt. Push in the shirt. Pull out the belt. Pull out the belt. Pull out the belt. Oh, yeah. Okay. And this isn't even going to show in my render, but I don't care. I'm going to fix it. Because I can. <laughs> Isn't that a good enough reason? I can. I can fix it. So let's do it. Okay. And there we go. Let's see how that's doing. Oh, this is a mess, isn't it? It's a mess. All right. Let's pull that in. Let's pull Push that in. Oh, yeah. Push that in. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Push that in, push that in. Uh, maybe that's the wrong handle. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's the right one. Okay, let's push that in. And push that in. Okay, let's push that in. Good. And let's push that in too. Okay. Now we're getting there. Okay. And push that in. All right. And that. Oh, yeah. And that. Good. And that. Okay. Its pants are shaping up. Well, that's not. Let's get this fixed. Oh, that's not working. Let's pull that out. Oh, that's... Hmm. <sighs> not working. Let's see. Will that work? No. How about this? Uh, that's not working. Let's try it that way. Mm, that's just difficult. Let's go back to the front because that's what's going to be showing. Oh, we are looking good. Let's push this in. Hmm. Okay, why did that come out? Okay, it wasn't through iterating. It's terrible when it's not through iterating. Let's let it get through iterating. Uh, that still needs to go in. That's better. All right, good. Well, it's back. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm not grabbing the right part. That's that's an explanation. Yeah, if you're not grabbing the right part, it's not going to work. So I need to grab this part here. Well, are you going to let me? Okay. Now let's see. Did that fix it? It fixed it. Okay. Now he's looking good. All right. So now we can pose him and fix even more poke through. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. All right. Okay. I want hair. Oh, there's hair now. Wonderful. Uh, I guess we're stuck with Toulouse hair. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't parent that to him. I didn't select Genesis 8 male first. But that's all right. I can do it from here. Okay. Now, <laughs> uh, what figure was this hair for? Uh, whoops. Don't know. I think it's the Genesis hair. It's hair. It's short hair. Let's we'll see if that works. If not, I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, it did. All right. That's all right. Okay. Now he's got Genesis hair. Let's see. All right. 
He's ready for the beach. Let's see if we have any props of any sort. We don't. That's sad. Let's see if we can install some. All right, props. Let's see what we got. Let's see. I've got this neat set that is, um, well, I've got sci fi cargo, but I've got a moving set. We're moving again. Let's install that. And it's going to show us down here that it's installing. So once it gets in, there are poses and props to go with them. So let's say he's uh, being nice and helping somebody move. That's a nice thing for a neighbor to do. So, and I love this set. There are two of them. There's Removing Again, and there is um, the original one, and I can't remember what it's called. But now we have poses. So let's look at the poses. should be in, but it may not be. So let's look for removal poses. Let's get those in. And we can get the capture me too while we're at it. Okay. All right. And you can see it coming in there, and you can also see it there. That is going to be the cumulative total of both packages. Poses don't take very long. Props take a little longer, but poses really don't take that long. So let's look at the poses. All right. So we've got the box. So we've got two for the box. We've got the pose. What in the world? Why did you do that? <laughs> Why is this? Oh. <laughs> his hair. Okay, it helps if you have the Genesis 8 male selected. Now you don't pose his hair, you pose him. There he is. He's got it. And here's the box. Okay, so now we need to fix his pants. Oh, it did it. It fixed it automatically. So here's our guy being helpful. So let's give him uh, an expression. So let's go back to poses and look at. <sighs> Don't have any expressions. I thought I installed expressions. Well, expressions. So let's look at the thing. Well, it's that's that package, but I need poses. 
So let's put some poses here. Let's see. So let's get all of the Genesis eight poses. So we've got but I want expressions. So let's look at expressions. That's for Michael eight point one, but a lot of these will work for Michael. Eight or Genesis eight. That subway poses. Pop the question poses. These are cool. And I'll get some female ones while I'm at it. But that's for the male. Learn one expression library. This will be good. All right, so let's do that. And I like the best dad poses and expressions too. They are really cool. So I'll get that. All right. So now. Let's go to Smart Content Poses and Expressions. All right, let's see what expressions we've got. It's taking a minute. I picked too many things. <laughs> I did, I picked too many things. They're telling me that my computer is probably going to be in the shop for at least two days and maybe an extra day. So, yeah, I'm going to be using this computer for my next live stream probably for Friday night. So, hopefully, I'll have my computer back by Monday. But um, I'll still be here Friday. Unless my sister wants to play. I think she is not going to be ready to play by Friday, though. So, let's see. All right, let's give him a silly grin. <laughs> okay. Now, here's our guy, and I need my brilliance lights. Ooh. I need lights. So let's look at lights. I need my brilliance set. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to see it. Mm, I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing my brilliance lights? They're eye ray lights. So let's look. Okay, brilliant. Yes, it's there. This light package, if you only buy one light package for Des Studio, brilliant is the way to go. It works on dark skin, it works on light skin, it works for everybody. It's the best portrait light out there on the whole Des catalog. It is awesome. So I highly recommend it. The Brilliance Eye Ray Lights by Dragonfly 3D. Absolutely best package I have ever bought of lights. Bar none. I love these lights. And it won't take too long to install them. It's 57% now. It won't take too long. And 
they make your character look so good. So I highly recommend them. Lighting will make or break your render. That is the single most important piece of your render. No matter what character or what setting you are rendering, the realism comes from lights. So if you have a really, really good light package, like the Brilliance Eye Ray lights, these are for your characters. As far as your settings, I really like the, um, what is it called? Uh, ALG, I think. It um, stands for Architectural Lighting Rig, ALR. Architectural Lighting Rig. I really like that one for settings. It's a rig that you can put in your scene. It doesn't show in your render, but it has all sorts of lighting so that you can throw that light wherever you want it in your scene. So I really like that one for interiors and um, for exteriors, of course, you can use your built-in domes. But I really, really, um, for domes, I really like Dream Lights dome lighting sets. They're awesome. And you can have buildings in there. You can have uh, trees, you know, different kinds of backgrounds. So I really like that package, too. And there's a lot of those packages. Dreamlight makes a lot, a lot of lighting packages. So you could spend a fortune. <laughs> so I only have a few. But um, definitely the dome lighting packages are the, my favorites from, from Dreamlight. But this Brilliance IRA light package is what I use constantly when I'm making characters. If you have realistic lighting, your character will look good if you're using Genesis 8 or 8.1. So I'll qualify that. The older figures, the lower number Genesis figures, do not look as good for close-ups, but they're fine for background. So you do need all of them. So if you're limited on hard drive space, I would say get the 8s. If you have enough hard drive space, get all of the figures because if you're doing groups of people for your backgrounds you want to use a lower numbered character because they are lower resolution so if they're in the background that's not going to matter and it will reduce the size of complicated renders so we are installed so let's go to smart content and I've got my guy selected. I'm going to go to Lights. Why isn't it showing up? Well, it should show up. Lighting is not showing up. So let's go to Content Library. I don't know why it doesn't show up. I wish it did. But I usually have to do this. I usually have to go to my content directory and find the lights. So that's clothing. I don't want that. I want lights. Where is it? I can't see. Light presets. That's just the default lights. That is not where I'm going to find it. Why can't I find it? Products. And that's A to Z, so I'm going to look in the B's. B, 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 There it is. Okay, and I'm going to get the Brilliant Set 2, which, um, 
looks good for a light skin person. If I was going for a dark skin, I would go for maybe the 8. So now I've got it. So I'll just tuck that away and go over here. And I'm going to parent this to my guy. All the way up to Genesis 8 male, except. And now I'm going to go to rotation only. And I'm going to adjust it so that it's on him. So you can do all sorts of neat effects, but I'm just wanting to do that. And then I'll adjust the Y parameter and get it like that and get that Z so I can get it on his face. getting all sorts of weirdness. I don't know why. The X is probably the problem. Oh yeah, the X was the problem. Now, and there he is. Okay, now we got our happy guy with the box and we're ready to render. So let's tuck this away and get the render settings. Okay. And I'm going to have to set a render directory because I don't have one. So under general, I'm going to do, okay, we'll see. My aspect ratio is three wide to four high. I want to change that. I'm going to make it four to three. I'm going to make it landscape. And that way I've got 3,000 there. I'm going to make 4,000 here. This may take forever on this machine. I'm hoping not. Now, direct to file is where I want to go. But the path, oh, I've got it in the 2D directory. Well, that's all right. That's, that's fine. It can go there. Okay, and what did I call him? Charlie. Helps move. Okay, and I'm going to render it. This is going to take a while because this machine is not as fast as my nice machine. <sighs> so... <laughs> Here we go with our box moving guy, Charlie. And so I probably ought to have some flip flops or something on him, but. It's going to take a while to download all of my stuff to this machine. Because <sighs> I don't have my hard drive connected. We thought we got it connected, but uh, apparently we did not. I'm not seeing any lights on the hard drives at all. So we're going to have to figure out if we... Plugged it into a dead port, which is possible on an eight-year-old machine. Uh, one of those ports is um, USB ports. One of them is a dead port. That's probably where we plugged the um, stuff in. But if it is the 3.0 port, it should be hot. So... I don't know. I can't hook my, myself anymore, and my daughter does well, but she was tired, so <laughs> we'll try again. 
Hopefully by the next live stream, I'll have all these problems sorted out because I really need what's on those hard drives. Unless my computer problem killed my drives, in which case I'm going to tear all my hair out. But hopefully the drives were okay. So, here we go. And it's been going for two minutes and a half and it's still on zero. Oh my heavens. I, um... <laughs> this is going to take a while. This is not um, that big a deal, but I guess I, good grief, it's big. It should not be that big. So, oh, did I put five instead of three? No, that's four by three. That's reasonable. Uh, let me cancel this because this is just going to take forever. So let's get a standard, standard 3.3 3 to 4, which is computer screen compatible. So let's, we could do golden ratio. But I think I don't want to go golden ratio. I want just regular computer screen. Yeah, display standard. And I don't want it that big. I want it 4,000 by, by 3,000. But I think that might be slow. So maybe I want to go 2,000. by 1500. This ought to be a lot faster. So to speed up a slow machine, I'll save this. Okay. And render this. Okay. Yes, I want to replace it because I want it to render faster. I'm not going to be happy to get itty bitty renders, but ugh. and really 2000 by 1500, if you're doing a book cover, ain't going to cut it. It's got to be at least 2000 by 2000. So I'm going to have to experiment with what uh, sizes will work with this machine. It doesn't help that I had to reinstall my DAS and I lost all my settings. So I'm essentially starting over with this machine. I am not happy. I brought it up and it was still in the setup for Windows 10. It's like did I have to reformat something? I think I did. And I just uh, got too tired or ran out of time. Or the new machine came before I could redo it. And I just said, well, <laughs> I'm just going to work with a new machine because it's more fun. But I really should have this machine set up so that for things like this, I've got a backup. And it's all set up and everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, much better. We're at 79% now, so it'll get there. <sighs> So, sorry about all the mess tonight. This is just, 
I wasn't expecting my computer to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully it will um, go and be ready to go for the next live stream. Uh, things happen. <laughs> I'm hoping it's just a driver. It's probably because I was updating my drivers. It's not a good thing to, you know. <sighs> so something in those updated drivers messed up my machine. But you have to update drivers. I mean, it's just one of those things you got to do, right? But I'm going to let the guys at Best Buy do it so I don't get stressed out, even though I know how to do that myself. <sighs> it's just so hard. It's so hard. It really is hard. Okay, we are at... 84 percent so yeah this is taking a long time i'm glad i made the render small because really it's uh i ought to have chosen portrait it's okay it will eventually finish still at 84 percent and it's been running for almost four minutes. We are coming up on the four minute mark. Still 84. And that's four minutes at 84%. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I didn't do a whole lot of renders on this machine because it takes forever even at that it was faster than my still older machine by a lot because it is a workstation and has a good graphics card in 2014 it was a very good <laughs> graphics card now it's like you gotta be kidding me but uh, back Back in the day, it was a good, good graphics card. It was so good compared to what I had. And I had a good gaming um, setup, but really, it um, this thing blew it out of the water eight years ago. <laughs> now, not so much. So we're still going. It does have 16 gigs of RAM and it um, has a passable speed, but it's just that the graphics card leaves much to be desired. It doesn't have enough memory on it, um, not by the standard of the new machine. But I'm grateful to be rendering because if I was using the still older machine, <laughs> it would not even run as I don't think. So, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's just taking a lot longer. Good grief. It's been going for six minutes and it's 88%. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Back in the day, my renders weren't as good because I didn't do as many because it takes forever. Yeah, and this is with one prop and no backdrop. It's like, come on. Uh. So maybe next time I will take this guy and put him in a scene. So I'll have to figure out where he's going to be going to. Yeah. 
I don't think I have a pickup truck. I really need a pickup truck or a van for him to put boxes in. I have an SUV. That would do. I've moved in an SUV before. So, yeah, that would do. So I might use the SUV. But I'm going to have to install stuff it is going to take probably until my next live stream <laughs> to install all my stuff. Uh, it's okay. We'll get there eventually. It's 89%. This render is taking a long time. It's not that big a render. It's 2,000 by 1,500 pixels. That's not that big. So I'm going to have to decrease the width. I'm going to have to make it like 1,500 by 1,500. Well... <sighs> I'm going to have to make it portrait is what I'm going to have to do. So the next render will be portrait. I'll run some tests. <clears throat> Goodness. Slow machine. <sighs> At least the surface still worked. The surface did pretty good on Daz. It really did. It did fast renders. It was just the, it had the incredible overheating problem. So definitely surface does a good job, but it doesn't last and it overheats. So, <clears throat> It will be nice when they can get all that hardware into a small package. But not this year. <laughs> My daughter and I are thinking of replacing our iPads and we're looking at the 256 gigabyte models. And I'm wondering if an iPad can run DAS. So I'll have to research that. Because it would be nice to have something portable that I could do renders on while I sit in the doctor's office forever. You know? <laughs> that would be a lot more fun than playing Merge Dragons. A lot more fun. And I could probably put Smart Edit on it. I think Smart Edit will run on a, an iPad. I don't know. I'll have to see. But it'd be nice to be able to edit stories while I wait and wait and wait. I mean, I don't have to wait for hours and hours. I can remember when I was a kid going to the doctor in Cornelia, Georgia, Dr. Lumsden and Dr. Hicks. And we would wait for four hours waiting to see one of them. It was bad. I have not had to wait for four hours in a doctor's office um, in recent years. So definitely... Um, much happier now. <laughs> and the state of medicine is much better too. That mild heart attack I had in April, if it had happened in the 60s, it never would have been detected. In fact, if I had not gone to the hospital when I did, they wouldn't have known I had one. So, you know. That's because I have a heart disease of some sort going on that 
can affect young people. So if you have chest pain and it goes down your left arm, take it seriously, even if you are young, because you could have what I've got. I had a spontaneous arterial uh, rupture, I think. It's, it's a weird thing. Not many people have that. Usually, if you have a heart attack, it's because of a blockage in your artery. I had no blockages. My artery just decided to split down the side. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Stress can do that, and I have had a lot of stress this year, so, you know. That's why I'm letting Best Buy work on my computer, so that I don't freak out. <laughs> I have another one. <sighs> Stressful enough having to deal with this old computer. We are at 98%. It's been running for 13 minutes. So, <laughs> this is slow. Hmm. Definitely going to have to reduce the footprint of my renders. Um for the live stream on this computer. Yeah, because it's just taking forever. I used to run renders on view that took a solid week on this machine. So, Daz runs them a lot quicker than that. <laughs> but boy, this machine is not my favorite machine. It's a good little machine, but it's flimsy. The week I got this machine, my cat sat on it and broke the display on it. True story. Okay, let's look at um, my render and see how it did. All right, so it's supposed to be here. It's under 2D. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's the Dan Stories drive. <laughs> that's not. Oh, so where is it? It's supposed to be under Daz Renders. There it is. Okay. We have Render. We have Render. Woo! Okay, let me switch this so you can see the final result. And awesome, here it is. Okay. And let's make this big. Yeah, there he is. I like that expression. That's cool. Okay, his face is a little, the color's off. I don't know why. Maybe it's the lighting. But there he is. And from this distance, it's the, the color is passable. So, yeah, there we have it. So, I'm going to leave you and try to get this machine set up so I can write on it. <laughs> I do have Smart Edit on there. I like Smart Edit. This is a Scrivener alternative. And... It's not as fancy as Scrivener, but between it and Plotter, which I love, um, does a very good job of keeping track of my writing. So I'm going to need to get access to my stories. <laughs> so I'll bid you good night. Let me take a final look, make sure that Nobody has put a comment, and I don't see any comments, so um, 
0ax2, Alien Conglomeration, Alien Gathering. Another TTV viewer. Hi, good to see you again. Santa Claus Gith and Xylane. Well, I'm happy that y'all stuck it out with me to the very end, and thank you. We will be back. Well, I will be back Friday, hopefully if my sister doesn't want to play video games. If she does, then, you know, she's older than me. Another character. And wait forever for it to render. I'm going to set the red render size smaller. That should help the speed some. Even, those are, even though it's empty pixels. Anyway, have a good night. And I hope your computers are running well and your products, your projects are going well. Have a good night and see you next time. Good night. I'm going to end the stream now. Bye.